Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to overwrite CSS in OmniScript using a custom static resource in Salesforce. You might be wondering why use a static resource to customize styles. Answer that question, OmniScript don't allow you to directly edit or inject CSS in line. The built-in style settings are pretty limited. That's where static resource comes in. By uploading a custom CSS file as a static resource, you can apply your own styles without touching the underlying code of the OmniScript. It gives you the power to customize specific field or component, maintain consistent branding and avoid affecting other OmniScripts or components. Let's take an example. As part of this OmniScript, I have created two inputs, first name and last name. Let's inspect and add a space or padding in between steps one and first name so i'm gonna target first name here so here it starts first name txt first name and txt last name i'm gonna copy this data omni key and select the first name add class and replace this with slds classes with query classes i'm gonna explain that why i'm doing like that why i'm targeting this with data omni key so now i will add that padding top 20 pixel and if you notice it added the padding if I hover on this, you can see 20 pixel padding at the top of the first name. So now I'm going to explain why I did that particular or text first name only. So now I'm going to deactivate this and click on the text first name again and add class. So now it already included all the SLDS classes that lightning design system has for text input field. So now I'm going to add padding top here with 20 pixel. As you can see, it added the padding 20 pixel in between step one and first name and also added the same padding to first name in between first name and last name also the reason because we didn't target a specific component the requirement was to add a padding in between step one and first name not first name and last name so that's why initially we targeted specific data omni key with text first name only so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this complete css and i already did that in my override os styling css now as you can see that i pasted the same hierarchy that i have prepared in the inspect tool into this override css styling os dot css please make sure every time you override a css in omniscript make that extension as dot css now i have stored this file in my local now i will jump to the static resource file so what i did is i created a new static resource file with the name of override css styling os and what i did is i did choose file override css open and make it cache control as public and save so now if you click on view file you will see your runtime omni studio and data omni key targeted first name only so now call we have to call this override css styling or static resource file into our omni script so now let's jump to the design deactivate this omni script go to setup and choose styling option here you see two options custom lightning style sheet file name and custom new port style sheet file name as we are in lightning theme right now lightning design system i will add that here as a file name of the static resource file and if you are using new port design system you can uh, add the same file name static resource into new port and now i'm gonna activate that refresh preview the omni script now you will see i have added in my css i added background red as well and padding top 20 pixel now you can see background red to the first name only not the last name and there is a padding 20 pixel as well and that is it you have learned how to override css in an omni script using a custom static resource in salesforce if you found this video helpful give it a like subscribe and hit the bell for more salesforce tips thanks for watching and see you in next video.